The great thing about being able to do soldier riding is the, the chance to come out and uh, be around some of the other service members and have some camaraderie. We've got guys from the UK, we've got guys from Israel, we've got the same injuries, now we're out here riding together. It's a great experience. Soldier Ride is a wonderful event for communities to get together to be able to give back to our wounded warriors. Soldier Ride! Today is the uh, annual Soldier Ride. Um, our troop um, does a lot of volunteering in a couple aspects of the Soldier Ride. We do the morning breakfast for the uh, wounded warriors. Six of us came across, uh, one leader and five uh, injured guys, sponsored by the UK charity Bledsmo, which provides support for uh, military amputees, so we've got five amputees with us. It's all about what you can still do, not what you can't do. So, you know, when you're out here and we're riding about 68 miles in three days, you know, there's a real bond that you build with each other. And for the community to be, be able to get out and actually ride next to these soldiers and spend some time with them and rub shoulders with them, is, uh, it's awe-inspiring. It, uh, you gain perspective from it, from watching these guys, uh, you know, overcome the obstacles that they have, whether it's getting up a hill or trying to figure out how to work the pedal with a prosthetic leg or, or you know, falling down and getting back up. It's, it's just amazing and it's hard to complain about the little things in life when you watch what these guys have to do to, uh, to go on, to move on. And uh, uh, that's, that's soldier ride, that's the nature of it. So uh, we hope it keeps going over the years. And um, I'm just proud to be a part of it, and it's, it's been a blessing. I have a hand cycle of my own back in uh, Bethesda, but I've only ridden it once before. I, I got it like a month before we came out here, since I'm from Long Island. Um, poor Jeff, specifically. The hand cycle is it's designed, designed for speed. I mean, it's, it's great. Uh, you're right, right next to the road, um, and you're just, you're just cruising. It's a good time. It's a really good time. The ride's in honor of Lance Corporal Jordan Herder, an American hero. But right now I'd like to introduce another American hero just to say a few words, one of our wounded warriors, Andrew Coughlin. Thank you. This is the uh, third time that I've been out in this community. And I just want to say thank you for the tremendous support, not only for Soldier Ride, but all throughout the year. And in the community where Soldier Ride started, um, it's a great honor to be here. Uh, so thank you everybody for coming out. And also today, while you're riding, just remember why you are riding. For the men and women over there, for the men and women that are still fighting the fight, and the men and women that are still in the hospital right now. Thank you. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this opportunity to honor the men and women who have placed themselves in harm's way for the ideals of our nation that they and we hold dear. We thank you for the opportunity to remember as a community and to honor the memory of Lance Corporal Jordan Herder. I am so happy to be here at Soldier Eye today. Thank you, Wounded Warrior Project, for helping our soldiers. Our soldiers are very important. They fight for freedom. Soldiers put themselves in danger to protect us. We should honor them and thank them. Kids should know that they are the real superheroes. I want kids in school to think about soldiers every day. They put themselves in danger while we sit around and watch TV. They travel to Iraq while we travel to the beach. Sometimes our soldiers get wounded or even killed. Jordan was killed fighting for freedom. He is a hero to me. I think about him a lot and what he did for me. While you are riding the race, and when you leave here today and every day, please take a moment to think about soldiers in harm's way. Ask yourself if you are doing enough. Thank you. All right, uh, well, the Kiwanis Club of East Hampton donated a talent ice card to me, and then I spent like time with like my brothers and my family and well gave free Italian ISIS with a donation to the Wounded Warriors and raised over a thousand dollars. I'm here to represent a, a friend that served in the service and he has since passed and I'm here uh, for Bob Curran. Um, well when I was laying in my hospital bed at Walter Reed um, I remember a Wounded Warrior Project um, 
staff member coming in and giving me a backpack and that was my first introduction to Wounded Warrior Project and uh, since then they taught me about, um, you know, not about my disabilities but what I'm able to do. Well, th this is an event that I think sort of captures everything that's wonderful about a town like Sag Harbor. This really is small town America where the whole town has turned out to um, you know, to, to honor one of its own and to see to it that uh, the people who keep us safe and free uh, are properly cared for once they come home. It's really, really, really special for us. We feel amazing here. We love the people, the people love us, and it's such a good for us to be here. Uh, name's Ray West, and uh, I'm actually uh, a local uh, from uh, East Hampton, New York. I'm uh, born and raised from Arkansas. Oh, this means a lot. Uh, I'm meeting a lot of new people. I'm uh, learning new stuff with the bikes. I've learned so much from these guys. And to hear their stories is even, is even greater. This is one of the largest rides in the country and it originated here. Without further ado, I introduce to you Jordan Herder's mother, Joanne Lyles. Honoring Jordan on this day, and throughout participation in events like this, help to continue to help our veterans and our wounded, both visible and invisible wounds, help to ease the pain of my loss and of our loss of Jordan. Jordan's Marine Brothers keep me strong. I have experience, experience, Semper Fidelis. Always faithful, the Marine motto. They live the motto. Once a Marine, always a Marine. I am family. My son is Lance Corporal Jordan C. Herder, United States Marine. He was killed in action 22 April 2008. Uh, we had a wreath ceremony of YN-19 Marine Vintage Helicopter dropped a wreath in Jordan's honor. The wreath dropping just helps everybody to remember Jordan's sacrifice. The Sac Harbor and the surrounding communities just embraced our family when Jordan was killed and soldier ride, the wreath ceremony, the bridge is named for Jordan, is just all wonderful things that have happened. And just, I, I can't thank everybody enough for remembering Jordan. Two Marines, Corporal Jonathan Yale and Lance Corporal Jordan Herter, 22 and 20 years old respectively, were assuming the watch together at the entrance gate of an outpost that contained a makeshift barracks housing 50 Marines. The same broken down ramshackle building was also home to 100 Iraqi police. A few minutes later, a large blue truck turned down the, uh, the alleyway, perhaps 60 to 70 yards in length, and sped its way through the serpentine F concrete jersey walls. The truck stopped just, just short of where the two Marines were posted and detonated, killing them both catastrophically. It took exactly six seconds from when the truck entered the alley until it detonated. Exactly no time to talk it over or call the sergeant to ask what they should do. Six seconds. Not enough time to think about their families, their country, their flag, or about their lives or their, or their deaths. But more than enough time for two very young brave men to do their duty into eternity. That is the kind of people who are on watch all over the world tonight for you.